Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about the new feature which Power BI released in the month of April 2023 called as Dynamic Format Strings. Now this feature lets you dynamically format your measures. For example, in this table, I have sales by country and in this table over here, I am displaying the sales amount based on the currency symbol of that particular country. For example, in India, I have the rupee symbol over here and same thing in Switzerland, I have the euro over here. Earlier, we had to use calculation groups to achieve this, but now Power BI has made it very simple. And the another case that I'm going to talk about is we can now dynamically add Add the number of decimals to the particular measure for example in the sales amount that I have over here I have now selected zero so that I don't have any decimals but if I move the slider to one or two and then I can see the number of decimals based on the value that I select in this particular slider so this is what we will be learning today so let's get started with this tutorial so let's start fresh and let me show you the data set that I have over here I have a table called as country sales it's a very simple table wherein I just have the country and the sales amount and as you can see over here all of my sales amount Amount is formatted into dollar but I want to display the respective currency based on the uh, country and I have another table here called as currency wherein I have the country column and I have the respective currency symbol now if I look at the relationship that I have created over here so it's directly between the country and the country uh, column over here so let's go back to the report view and start creating a table let me bring in the country and the sales amount from the um, country sales table let me create or change this to a table now that I have a table created so all of them have now been formatted as a dollar so first thing that we will have to do is we will have to create a measure so only based on the measure we will be able to format the string so I'm gonna call this as total sales and just say calculate sum of sales amount from my sales table and press enter so I'm gonna let me bring this into the table over here so as you can see we now have the total sales uh, exactly what we have the sum of sales and I'm going to format this as currency. I'll tell you why I did that in a moment and now all of them is formatted as dollar. Now let's select the measure that we created under measure tool and from this drop down you need to choose dynamic over here. Now if you don't see this make sure that you are on the latest version of Power BI which is April 2023 and also head to the preview features. Uh, go to file options and settings go to options and then under preview features over here you will have to enable dynamic format string for measure so once you have enabled this you will see the dynamic option under the format section over here so when you select the dynamic option over here you will up see a string something like this and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add two hyphens over here and disable or comment this particular section so Let's go back over here and first let's add the uh, currency based on the um, country that we have. So I'm going to say selected value and choose the currency from my currency table. I'm going to close the bracket here and press enter. So what happened now is basically uh, if we go back to the measure that we created and from this drop down you can choose the format section to see what we just formatted. So we said selected value and then currency which only displaying the currency uh, symbol from our currency table but we will also have to add values to this. So this is where uh, I commented this particular section over here. So what you can do is take the section after the dollar sign over here until uh, hash sign and then say add open quotes and paste that particular value and then give a space over here and then close the quotes and press enter and now you will see that we are displaying the currency symbol based on the country over here and now if you look at this section over here we've added a thousand separator by using this comma over here and there's a full stop and after full stop there is there are no decimal values that's why you don't see any value decimal over here but if i add zero over here and press enter you will see one decimal value if i add another zero over here you will see two decimal values in this particular section now let's talk about how we can make the decimals dynamic as well so for that let's make use of the uh, parameter so let's go to modeling tab and under new parameter let's click on numeric range i'm going to call this as decimal 
and this from the data type drop down select decimal number because we need a decimal over here so minimum is going to be zero and maximum you can choose how many ever decimals that you want for example in this case i'm going to choose four over here and my increment needs to be one and default let's say zero and add slicer to this page so a new slicer gets added to our page over here and you will see that we can now scroll from zero onwards up till four and now to make the decimals dynamic, we need to make changes to this part of the DAC so that it becomes dynamic. So what we will do is we will just add a new variable over here to begin with. I'm going to call this as decimal underscore is equals to and then I'm going to use the repeat function over here. So repeat function basically what it does is it takes the value and repeats the same text or the number based on the number of times that we have selected over here. In this case, I want to repeat the number zero followed by the number of times is going to be the number of decimals that we want over here. So if it is one, then I need to repeat zero once. If it is twice, I need to repeat the zero twice, right? So here I'm going to choose the decimal value from the slider that we've created. And then I'm going to close the bracket over here. And then I'm going to say return is equals to, I'm going to select this part of the code here until the full stop over here. I'm going to close the quotes and decimal this is the variable that we've created and then i'm going to remove this section of the code here and press enter over here and oops i made a mistake i don't need is equals to over here press enter and now you will see that this has now become dynamic i can choose a decimal value that i want to be displayed over here based on the slider that i'm selecting and now this has become dynamic, meaning I can choose the number of decimals that I want to display on this particular table. If I move this to two decimals, I will start seeing two decimals on this particular section over here. But I've also lost the uh, currency over here. So what I will do to bring the currency is I'm going to say selected value and choose the currency from my currency table, close the bracket and say and the rest of the DAX over here and now we've got the currency as well we've got the dynamic selection for our decimal values as well you can simply move the slider and choose whether you want to display zero decimals or you want to display up to four or five decimals based on your needs and requirements so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope you found this tutorial helpful you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials